Simon, at the weekend there, Jordan Henderson came back and uh, started life as an Ajax player, uh, left Al Etifak, managed by Stephen Gerrard in Saudi Arabia. Um, it was mutually agreed that his contract out there would be terminated. He said goodbye to a lot of money and has come back here and is now playing over... Uh, in Amsterdam, in, in actual fact, Henderson's number six shirt has proven to be the fastest selling Ajax shirt in history. There you go. He says he's, he's thrilled about it all. Well, it was a very good game. You know, I thought the atmosphere was incredible and to play at the stadium was, was really special. So to play here and represent this club meant an awful lot to me and my family. So it was an amazing moment. I haven't played a, a big game like that for a while. So um, it, was, it was an amazing feeling. Amazing feeling to get back out there and um, in that atmosphere with this team. Amazing feeling, yeah. So, Simon, he's gone from a lot of money, um, but playing in front of a, like 700, 1,000 people to 50,000 plus at the weekend. Yep. When all said and done, is he going to eventually wake up and think the Saudi affair was just one big bad dream? Um, I don't know. I mean, he made a choice to go over there and play. And despite the ridiculous observations that he's made... Um, he knew he wasn't going to an elite league. Um, he should have known that the challenges to some of the things that he said were going to be brought to him. And if he didn't, then he was away with himself. And often people inside football live in a little bubble, so they think they can say as they want. And when someone challenges them about the reality and the substance of their opinions, they are quite surprised by it. So maybe he didn't know. But he went to sell it and he changed his mind. Now, I think people should be able to change their minds. I don't admire him for not having the courage of his observations. He's the one that said he wanted to go over there and grow the game. He's the one that said that he wanted to stand up for a particular cause and did neither. So that's not admirable. He's changed. He's come back to play for Ajax because he wants to play, I suspect, in the European Championship. Yeah, and Southgate was there to watch so, him play at the weekend. I mean, I mean, his motivation is about himself. Yeah, There should be no surprise there in the footballer's mentality that his motivation is for himself. But he's now back playing in... It's a very strange move because we don't often see many players go to the Eredivisie. It's not the most compelling of leagues. Ajax aren't the most compelling proposition in that league right now, despite their legacy and all the Cru jo Johan Cruyff history that goes with that football club and other clubs like Feyenoord in that particular league. Um, and I think I, I think he's an incidental. I, you know, I'm flabbergasted, flabbergasted to read that Ajax shirt sales are at the record level for Jordan Henderson <laughs> yeah. because he's hardly the most exciting of players, is he? Well, no, he, he's not. And I think even Jordan would say that. But um, it just shows you, doesn't it? It seems that um, every every step is being taken to ensure that he's on that plane to the Euros, does it not? Well, I mean, what? Because Southgate's gone and watched him. Well, yeah, in his first game. Well, clearly Southgate wants him in his side. I mean, is that a crime? He wants him in his squad. Is that a crime? Um, it's up to Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate's got a task in hand. He's got to win European Championships. Nothing less than that would be considered good enough by most people. Yeah. So if he yeah. thinks Jordan Henderson is a component part of that, and Jordan Henderson going to Ajax to give himself an opportunity to be a component part of that, then the England manager should go and watch him, shouldn't he? Sure. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.